You're like, I'm gonna win and this, put a I've, lot in the wall. I've done smarter things than this. Hi, I'm Kyle. And I'm Chris. And thanks for tuning in to today's episode. We're gonna get going with You Ask It, We Answer It. Hey, are you a good cook? I am a great cook. Uh, I can cook, if you remember last week's episode, I cooked a great, I cooked a great, um, uh, it was an ice cream sundae, and it was fantastic. It was one of the best I I've ever do seen. Do you remember that? Um, yeah, I, I guess that's just up for interpretation. I, okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, you so ate careful. it. You ate it, so I guess you can be the ju- ultimate judge. And you did not I, get to eat it, so you I didn't have the didn't privilege of it, knowing so my cooking abilities. Th- that's, so sorry. That's also true. Wow. Are you a good cook? I am a yeah. I would say I'm a good cook. You know, I like to get a little creative in the kitchen. Um, you know, sometimes I throw, sometimes I throw some turkey on my grilled cheese and whoa, uh, maybe no a way. Bacon. Do you do bacon um, with grilled cheese? Yeah, I actually okay. I specialized the quesadilla a couple months ago. Um, you know, I instead of just popping it in the microwave, I actually butter the tortilla, Ooh. throw it in the pan, a little bit of wow. oil in there, and so it's a it's a quality chicken quesadilla. Wow. That is good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited about it. <laughs> Might go home and have one. All right, next, do you want to go to the moon? I would love to go to the moon. I think ever since when I was a little kid, and I don't know if it was a commercial, but it's they talked about the moon being made of cheese. And that just <laughs> really piqued my interest, gave me a lot of intrigue about going to the moon. and. So Um, only because it's made of cheese do you want to go to the moon? Well, that's up for debate. I don't really know if there's cheese up there or not, but I do think it would be really cool to go to the moon. Um, How about you, Chris? The moon is very similar to Wisconsin. It has a lot of cheese. Um, I would love to go to the moon. I think it would be great. I would just jump around and uh, I would have a good time. I would sing the song Jump Around. And then uh, that's true. You can jump real high on the moon. Absolutely. That's what I would do. I would just it's like it's like a trampoline made of cheese. That you just go really high on, and I'm, I'm about it. Oh, man. What's going on, Chris? You know, there just hasn't been a whole lot of uh, sporting events that I could pay attention to and watch lately, so it's been kind of sad. I don't know. Well, you know, there is stuff out there. Is there really? There is. You just got to look a little bit harder. And we did that looking, and you will not believe the competition that we found. Check this out. Get ready to rumble! Hey, we are here live at the greatest sports event happening in 2020. We're so excited for the action. I'm here and I'm trying to figure out if I can see any of the athletes heading in to today's action. Let's see if we can. Oh, I have right here. Tom, Tom, come on in. Come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Tom here, one of the greatest, most anticipated uh, artists of the event. Tom, uh, let me ask, what is your strategy going into today's event? Well, it's going to be a tough matchup out there. Uh, we were just talking about that with the coaches. We had our preview of the picture. Uh, it's pretty rough, so we are going to go with the idea of t- trying to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly. So that's what we're, that's what we're thinking. That's what you're working with. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now, I know cramping was an issue going into this. How are you feeling? How have the doctors reacted? Medical assessment all over me. They actually, uh, thankfully, cleared me for this event. Uh, but they've really been working on a lot of uh, stretches and a lot of breathing for just for make proper blood flow. So I've been working on a lot of and then not gripping the crayon too tight because I tend to break them. So, you know, yeah. yeah. Wow. Breaking crayons. Let's hope for no broken crayons today. Let's hope for a good, good, clean victory for you. Good luck out there. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to head into the action. Yeah, 45 enemy lines? Yep, got it. No, no, I don't think so, no. Mr. J, DC? Mr. J, DC, got it. What? Ah, no. No, uh uh-uh, I'm good, good.
Uh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Don't have the right peach color, they're messing with my colors. Time check. We're here at halftime live with Tom, and Tom, let, let me know, how do you think it's going out there? Uh, it's really competitive out there. Uh, we, uh, we had to change our strategy uh, midway through. Uh, that was uh, kind of had to shake things up a little bit, but uh, uh, I mean, this is the nature of the game, you know? Like, you get to this level, it's going to be competitive. Yeah, I saw that. I saw you, you made a, a quick switch with your coaching staff there, uh, went with the eye patch. Uh, talk about that. Uh, you know, we came, when we looked at the picture, like, you know, with it being so bad, we ever thought that we'd go with more of a comic book uh, type theme. And it seems like, you know, all the competition, especially, uh, you know, Johnny over there in Cleveland, uh, it, he's, you know, everybody's doing comic. And uh, so we thought, you know, it, it was, uh, coaches said Jack Sparrow, which is going, that's our code for pirate. And uh, I had to change on the fly. So, um, but, this, you know, this is the name of the game. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're scared, stay home. Yeah, that you know what wise words. Uh, now you have brought up several times the picture being a little difficult to. Uh, I've actually seen the picture several times and have been quite uh, taken by it. I, I enjoy it. I, I think it's a great picture. So talk about how that has affected your game plan. Uh, you know what the. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's hard. To, it's hard being in the, at the professional level and uh, trying to to talk about that because uh, really I see little things like nose warts and things that uh, that some people might feel, find as appealing. Uh, for me, it really kind of messes up the flow of a picture. So uh, you know, for us uh, on our level, really trying to knock it out of the park with a uh, great use of color and uh, trying to separate separate ourselves out apart from the competition. Uh, nose warts really just throw off our game. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, good luck in the second half out Thank there. Well, let's get back to the action. Wow, I cannot believe the action we have seen today. Boys and girls, this is just too much to even handle. I, I mean, it is just, I, my heart is beating out of my chest right now. We have Tom. I see Tom. Tom, come on in. How do you feel like today went for you? Uh, you know, it was a tough day out there, but... Uh you know, you, you, you roll with what you're dealt with, right? It's, uh, we decided to change our, uh, our color scheme, our, uh, our, 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 uh, our, our whole plan, you know, uh, went, went from the, uh, the comics to the, uh, the pirate and, um, you know, I, you know, hats off to Belinda. She did a great job. That was, she did a good job on that ugly picture. Wow. Okay. Again with the picture bashing, but, um, I, I still stand by it. I think it's a beautiful one. And so, uh, uh, yeah, it's so we're seeing right now, it looks like they're posting some of the scores. Uh, if you want to stay tuned here, we can check in and see how you did. How do you feel like you did rank? I don't think I, uh, I beat Belinda, quite honestly. I think she, uh, she knocked it out of the park. I th Belinda I beat you out? I think she beat me, but, uh, but I should be a close second. I, you know. Okay. All right, well, let's take a look. We see it coming in right now on the ticker there. It looks like we have the top five finishes. I don't, yeah, no, I didn't see on there. I'm so sorry. And we got the, the next results coming in top top 20 top 20 is your name is not on that one either um 
Okay, so, and they're rolling in the rest of them, and you, uh, I don't think you placed. It doesn't look like you placed. Um, I am, I am so sorry. Can't say I'm surprised, but I am so sorry. How, how are you feeling right now? Talk me, talk through the emotions. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like we say in, in, in camp, you know, if you're scared, stay home. And uh, I, 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 I left the house. I, you I, should have stayed home, it sounds like. But you know what? You got to compete. You know, you got to try your best. And uh, like I try to tell the kids at the camps, you know, I mean, do get good grades in school and stay inside the lines because you never know uh, how the day is going to go, you know. So, um, you know, I didn't win today, uh, but we're going to regroup and we're going to train hard and we're going to come back to the next one and we will place. All right. Well, rest up, Tom. Better luck to you next time. There it is, folks. Stay inside the lines. Tom Greer, the person who did not place at all on any of the boards, uh, but good words to live by. We're excited. Thanks so much for joining us at the Master of Coloring 2020 event. Wow, that was uh, that was fantastic. What a great reporter, by the way, too. Yeah, talk about some intense competition. I didn't think that it was going to turn out the way he did. Yeah, you are on the edge of your seat, literally. But I guess I better fix that. Whew. For the next few minutes, we wanted to watch together with you one of our older videos. Yeah, we're really going deep into the archives for this one, Chris. We sure are. It's us riding in shopping carts. And so let's watch together. Coming up next, we're looking you had a good at hair day that shopping day. carts. Was, my hair was looking right real good What do you on think? I feel yes good about it. Or no? Yes or no? Should we or have yes ridden in them? Or absolutely? Uh, the yes, they should. Absolutely. absolutely. Let's check out what's going yes, on we should. over in the shopping should. cart world. Yeah, riding shopping Well, hey, Chris, I'm here on the scene today answering the question of the hour. He looked like he was making a heart there for a minute. He's got the hand movements. He always gives you a hard time. About I don't know why I was the first one in the shop. Oh, did not expect you to do that. I didn't expect Took that. Took you by surprise. Oh. You did. 100%. That was High fives. Loud. That wow. hurt. It was loud. It hurt a lot more than maybe a lot of like two yeah. loud ones. I don't know why we did that. That was just... And then standing up in it, like, it sounds fun. You know, it was something I did when I was like two or three years old and yeah. thought you had all the room in the world. But I don't even so know that much. we... Connected on the back. That there. I thought was going to be a lot cooler, but it's not, not you got really room. excited. <laughs> you had the struggle Three, standing two, up. One, and then the Mario Kart. Go. Here's what I want to point out, though. You holding on on the back end here on the side. Look at that. What is? Do you see that? Oh man, I'm whipping me around. I know that was good. We was slowed good. up towards the end. I, I feel did like not I want to put a hole in the glass. Yeah, you were either win or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to win and this, put a I've, in the I've done smarter things than this. So the question is, can Pastor Chris win? <laughs> Easy answer, no. <laughs> that hurt my knee. That, that, my knee was pretty sore. <laughs> and it was funny. Yeah, it was. We all laughed like little girls. We sure did. Isn't that the truth? As you get it, older, you just keep laughing. Laughing younger. Yeah, yeah. You would think, like, deep belly laugh, deep deep voice not the case no laugh like a four-year-old girl that's what it is so we hope you enjoyed that as much as we did <laughs> we love to have fun here at hc kids tv but we love even more learning about god and how much god loves us yeah so we're continuing our series on forgiveness and for this week's message we decided to do a special at home message from all of us so hope you enjoy Okay, so there's this one time a while ago when I had to work, but my friends were going out bowling, and so I couldn't go because I had to work. I'm not gonna lie, I really hated it. I was there at work being bummed out the entire time because I knew they were having fun. They were bowling, they were dancing, they were laughing, probably eating pizza, you know, my favorite food. It just, it felt really sad when I couldn't, I couldn't join them, I couldn't be there for that. I felt like I was really, really missing out. I am gluten free, and sometimes when we get together with other people, there's no dessert for me. When I was in middle school, a bunch of my friends got to go to this amusement park called Worlds of Fun, and I got invited and I was very excited to go, but my parents didn't let me go because there were no other adults going, and so I was really bummed about it. 
I remember a time when all of my friends were invited somewhere and I wasn't. This made me feel really upset and really left out. When I was younger, there were times when my youth group would uh, get together every so often and they'd do this all night event where they would stay up all night together doing a lot of fun things. And every time one of those events happened, every time I got sick beforehand and I was unable to attend and I was always so frustrated that I had to miss every single one because I just always happened to get sick at that exact time. We all know what it's like to miss out on things, especially right now. But today we want to talk about forgiveness. And what we want you to remember is that when we choose not to forgive, we miss out. Our story is from Luke 15. Now you may remember it from last week, but if not, that's okay, because we're going to recap it right now. There was a father with two sons. One son decided to take his inheritance. That's the money he was promised one day when his dad died. And he left town. He wanted to live life his own way. So as it turns out, things didn't end up too well for him. Uh, he eventually, he ran out of money. He felt super alone and defeated. So he decided to return home. His dad welcomed him back with open arms. He was just so excited to have his son back. And he even threw a huge party for him just because he came back. And that's where we pick up this week. As we mentioned earlier, this father had two sons. Now we often hear about the one son, but what about the other one? The other son uh, stayed home and worked for his father while his brother ran off uh, and was living his own life, not really keeping to any of his responsibilities. Uh, so how do you think he felt when his brother returned home after doing all these things, after not taking care of the stuff he was supposed to be taking care of? I know I would be like super mad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd probably be pretty frustrated too. Jesus, when telling us this story, he's showing the people that he's talking to just how much God loves and forgives us. But the other son kind of has a point, though. This didn't seem fair at all. The older brother was working the whole time and being a great son, but now the younger brother is back and his dad's just going to throw him this huge party? It didn't make sense to him. He was angry. So angry that he refused to go into the party that his dad was having. Luke 15, 28 says, The older brother was so angry that he wouldn't go in. His father had to come out and beg him. Then the other brother got really frustrated. He started lashing out, telling his father about all the good things he had been doing while his brother was off misbehaving and not doing what he should have been doing. Because again, this just didn't seem fair to him. But the father reminded him, This is a happy day, he says. Um, your brother was lost, but now he's been found. Which is so cool. Um... The father's love was so great that even though he knew his son wasn't perfect, he loved him that much. He loved him enough to bring him back into the fold. He loved him so much. The thing about this story is that it doesn't really have an ending in the Bible. We don't know if the older brother forgave his younger brother. We don't know if he actually went into the party. Now, bigger than attending a party, we miss out on so much more when we choose not to forgive. When we don't forgive, it starts hurting our heart. Holding on to anger and frustration doesn't do us any good. We've all been there and we know the ups and downs. Honestly, that reminds me of a time when I had a really rough spot with a friend. Um, she and I were really, really close, but she didn't tell me a lot of stuff that was really, really important when she should have. And so I felt really betrayed. I felt like she didn't trust me enough for her to tell me those things that she had been working through and the things that um, I felt like I, I needed to know. And she, I felt like she let me down. And so I was really hurt by her. When she saw how much I had been hurt, she let me know that she was really sorry. And she asked for my forgiveness and she wanted to be better about communicating with me in the future. And so I decided to forgive her and we're really, we're close. And we have so much fun, we laugh a lot, and we became better friends because of the fact, because of the fact that we went through that. So we learned how to trust each other even when sometimes it's not perfect. There was a time when someone said something kind of mean about me, and I was very upset for a while, and I didn't talk to them about it. And then I started just being very mad all the time. And then I started being angry with the people that I care about most that live in my house. And I realized it was because I was holding on to this anger. It was because I was choosing not to forgive someone for what they had done. 
back when I was in high school, my parents moved us to a new town. And so I started at a new school and there was this guy there who gave me a really hard time and embarrassed me um, for being the new kid. And so it was really hard and it was making me really angry. And so um, I, cause I was a new kid, I didn't know anybody, but I chose to forgive him. And after that, we ended up becoming best friends throughout all of high school. And I can't imagine the memories I would have missed out on if I would have just been angry with him the whole time. I would have lost a really good friend. I remember a time a few years ago, my good friend and I got into a huge fight and disagreement and I held a lot of anger and frustration towards her. And for a whole year, we weren't friends and it really upset me and made the year a lot harder than it should have been. I myself have had times in my life where uh, I've had friends who they didn't treat me the way I was hoping they would treat me. And I got really frustrated with them even though they didn't know that they were doing anything wrong. Um, and I chose to hold it in and be angry with them instead of saying anything. Uh, and I missed out hanging out with them because they didn't want to spend time with me because I was avoiding them. And uh, being able to, to get over that and to see that I was just being frustrated for no reason um, helped me move on and forgive them even though um, there was still a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of frustration. It helped me learn um, to let go and realize that the things that I was concerned about were not that big of a deal. So today, we want you to remember that when we don't forgive, we miss out. And we don't want anyone to miss out on the love and the forgiveness that God offers each and every one of us and all the people around us. Oh. <clears throat> Did I? I hope it's recording. Ugh.